Hi everyone, welcome to the Nakamas Workshop. Um, today we're going to have a, another, oh, a look at another, another project, another one I'm starting. Um, it's the uh, Myford uh, ML3 and um, as you can see I've taken it apart. Um, it's not a, uh, taking something apart it's never too uh, challenging really. I can remember my, um, one of my instructors uh, when I was doing my apprenticeship said uh, taking apart things is, is the easy part, it's putting them back together is the, uh, the more difficult one. But anyway, um, so this, this uh, machine um, came to me when I bought the little shaper um, and um, I've never run it or, or anything but it's sort of um, I've fallen in and out of love with it and uh, I've decided to um, to try and uh, get it going um, so the this this little um, restoration project isn't I'm not going to film much of it um, like I have the Unimat um, all I'm going to do is um, just give you updates every so often as I progress along the uh, the road with it. I, you know, as normal with any of my projects, um, who knows how long they take. Um, I seem to like to start them, but not necessarily finish them. So let me move you over to the uh, the bed, and we we'll have a look look at that first. Here we are at the bed. Um, it's uh, the length of the bed is about eight, uh, 18 and a half inches. Um, it's clearly. Um, well, you can see the two halves of the mould, um, nothing really lines up. Um, so one of my, um, one of my uh, goals, and, it, and it's for no other reason I can't, well, you, you guys let me know if, you, if there is an inherent um, benefit, but my view is all I'm, I'm gonna try and take out some of the irregularities in the casting, just because it pleases me and, um, uh, yeah, yeah, and it, it just look, looks a bit nicer. Now, I'll, I'll turn it over and then I'll show you what I've done, yeah. Okay, hopefully you can see here. I just got, I, there, there was quite a diff, big difference between this half of the casting and this one. So I just started to file, uh, file it down um, just to bring it into line. Again, it's underneath, there's no value other than it pleases me. Um, and I was doing a bit of draw filing along there just to, uh, again, no real value other than uh, it seems to make me <laughs> happy for some reason. Um, anyway, so that's, um, that's the bed. Let me turn it over again. Um, okay. So we, the headstock's come off and we've got, you know, the ways here. Now they're not perfect and we've got a little chunk out here, looks like someone's whizzed through with a axle. And there, there's some pitting and everything. But from a general perspective, they're fairly, um, they're fairly smooth. And bearing in mind this is sort of 1930s, 40s. So, you know, what would that be? Uh, 80, uh, 80, 90 years old. So it's, it's quite an old uh, bit of kit. So one of the things I plan to do is I want to have a go at scraping. Um, and hopefully I can take some, get rid of some of these, um, these marks and, and, and get these down. And obviously because I'm lowering this, I also have the ability to, to scrape off the same amount at this end to bring it down to keep everything in... in um, in parallel um, so um, so that's quite good and um, uh, I've asked uh, a little while ago uh, Matt um, Matthew looked for one of his scrapers so um, which hopefully I don't, I'm not sure whether it would be too big for this sort of work but anyway We'll see, um, but the first scraping job I'm going to do, I'm going to buy, you can buy a little Hemingway um, surface plate, it's about six, uh, six inches square I think it is. So I was going to buy one of those 
skim it over on the mill um, and then try and scrape that in. So just to give me a, a bit of a go before I <laughs> take on this. Um, okay, so let me show you a few of the components which seemed, uh, seemed quite interesting. Be back in a okay, what's interesting, um, when I look at the uh, serial number that's on the, um, on the bed of the lathe, these two, um, these two gibs that I took out, they, they've got stamped in there exactly the same number. So it sort of looks like these are, are quite original. Um, I haven't found that there's quite a few casting numbers on <coughs> on the components and what I'll do is I'm going to try and um, just sort of see if I can find a pattern but it does seem quite original there doesn't seem to be too much um, to any evidence of wrong size nuts it all, all seem to be uh, Whitworth as I was taking the thing apart um, I've done very little cleaning. Um, let me just move you slightly around. Uh, hang on. So I did the uh, um, the compound slide, cross slide compound slide. Yeah, um, I took that all apart the other day and cleaned all this up. Um, and again, everything everything's in reasonable condition actually. Um, and it seems to be um, pretty much matching. Um, oh, sorry, keep the, <laughs> keep the camera. So as I say, um, the plan really is to do this um, in the background, but what I would like to do is any components that I either have to make or repair for this job, to just bring you along with that so it's something slightly different that hopefully you haven't seen before because i don't think there's too many myford ml3 uh, restorations floating around on um e uh, ebay um youtube and i'm hoping this will just it'll also give me something if i've got to make something new um or repair something it, it's going to give uh, you something different to watch and it also give me you know I can do it on the you know the various machines that I've now got in the workshop um, yeah so that's really about it it's a bit of a short video uh, this week um, for those of you who have sort of come over for with the interest of the Unimat um, I'm just working on something um, at the moment. I was doing some work on the milling machine today and I'm going to get back on that project um, in about two weeks and we start, we will try and progress that because I'd like to, I've got some ideas, um, um, things I want to make with that machine and um, I'm keen to um, get that up and running. Okay, so that's about it on the uh, sort of intro, or I suppose it's intro to the uh, ML3 uh, uh, restoration. Um, so thanks for watching, and um, as always, uh, stay happy, strong and healthy, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheerio.